Hi everyone, I'm Melissa from Knitting the Stash, and this is a quick video about how to do a gradient spin. I'm going to show you the fiber I've picked out, show you how to divide it up, and show you the whole process of spinning and plying it and finishing it. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see here, this is the fiber I've picked out. It is a braid of Shetland from Hello Yarn, and I've arranged it so that you can see how the dyer might have dyed it. Uh, you can see that if you fold over the, the uh, braid of fiber, like I have here, so that the colors are kind of lined up, you can see that to spin a gradient, uh, you'd spin from the lightest through to those middle tones up to the darkest part of your fiber. So let's get started dividing it. Okay, so you've seen the full braid, and now what I'm going to uh, work on is dividing up the fiber. Uh, and what I'm going to do is divide it from the lightest bit, which you can see here, all the way down to the darkest, making piles of fiber as I go. Um, one thing to think about, depending on your um, braid, is you want to think about the length of the uh, dye, sight dyed segments versus the staple length. So this is a Shetland, like I said, and if you pull it out, you can see the staple length of this particular uh, fiber is about, oh, somewhere between, maybe about three inches long, maybe more like two and a half, right? Um, and with that one, you don't really have to worry because of this staple length. Um, you can see that the color repeats are going to, the segments of color are gonna be longer than um, any of the single staples. So the nice thing is you don't have to worry about um, so much marling or things kind of blending together because you can control it a little bit more easily. The, there's going to be more pure color because the entire <clears throat> uh, staple length is going to be a single color. So I'm going to get started dividing it up and then I'll show you what the piles look like. Okay, I'm going to show you my gradient all laid out from one end to the other. You can see how that progresses from light to dark. And you can see I've got a few oddballs here. Uh, you can decide what you want to do with those oddballs. Sometimes I mix them in, sometimes I just don't because they don't quite fit. So I'll show you the color uh, from up high so you can see the gradient a little bit better. And you can see it really does go from a very light gradient over here to a much, much darker gradient on the other end. Okay, so we finished uh, finished up the gradient spin, and I wanted to show you guys the result. This is the yarn all hanked up, and you can see even in the hank, I haven't re-skeined it since I uh, pulled it off the bobbin. I haven't washed it or set it either. Um, so you can still see the way that the color is kind of uh, sticking together here in the gradient. And if I open it up, you'll be able to see uh, just how the colors are kind of shifting from the really light uh, whites and kind of brighter yellows to the deeper yellow to this little bit of marled section where the yellow mixed with the brown into the brown lights and the darks and even those purples and reds that we saw um, with some of the fiber ended up just turning into this nice kind of muted brown. I think this is kind of perfect for fall. I'm glad I did this. Uh, this time of year and it was my first Spinzilla spin of 2017 so happy to share it with you. I need to go wash this and set it and I hope it, that this video encourages more of you guys to get out there and take those braids from your stash and divide up the colors in interesting ways and think about doing different kinds of gradient spins. I'm Melissa from Knitting the Stash. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.